Greetings and welcome to Drawing with Lord Carnage. Today I will be working in color and I'll take you step by step through the process of coloring this packaging design featuring Edit Station 1 floating outside of the Intergalactic Space Arcade and I'll be working in Procreate on the iPad. So relax and let's have some fun coloring. Well alright, here's the inks for what will eventually be the cover design for CGR Supreme Volume 0 from the Classic Game Room website. That's like the behind the scenes collection. And I decided to go with uh, some original art for this cover. Uh, pen and ink drawing of Edit Station 1 and the Intergalactic Space Arcade. I've started on, on Edit Station 1 here, but this is going to be the first time that I've ever colored the Intergalactic Space Arcade. So, it could be any color we want. It could be brown, yellow, and orange, which I think would be nice. Or just go with like your classic banged up gray and uh, you know like like lived in space opera kind of color scheme from Star Wars. Um, at least that's how I always view things. I think the CGR should be in red. Probably gonna do it in gray. Um, Though if they ever repaint it, I would, I would suggest brown, orange, and yellow. Basically go with the helicopter uh, color scheme from Island Hoppers from Magnum P.I. Which is, which is incredible, of course. Now, Edit Station 1 is also gray. He's a light gray. His screen is green. So I've already done that here, and we're gonna... I'm in Procreate once again on the iPad. So I'm going to select... the parts of Edit Station 1 that are light gray. And if you're drawing Edit Station 1 at home, following along, his venting is also the same color as his antenna and this design cue on the side. You'll be quizzed later. All right, here we go. Let's color this in like this and put a little texture on there. Looks nice. C, G, R, highlights, put it in red. Yeah. Use the same brush for pretty much all this. Change the layers. I'm gonna make a new layer for the uh, space station colors. Okay, here we go, you ready? The space arcade's been uh, been abused by asteroids, terrible policy changes, things like that. Let's see here. Oh, it's the wrong layer. Let me go back to the inks. This is actually one of the first times I think I gave the uh, CGR lettering on the space station a three-dimensional look. Been doing more uh, um, more space drawing lately with Ethel, Cyborg Ninja, and Omega Ronin and stuff. So I'm really into stuff being bolted onto things with rivets. It, it just looks cool. Plus, you know, it's you know, it's well built. They use they use rivets on bridges and stuff. So we figure it's good for a space station, right? Maybe. I don't like that color. Let's try this again. Doing more color work this year. That's a good uh, first draft. I mean, I think the space station, because it's basically just made out, it's, the storyline is that they, uh, they, um, commandeered an orbiting peace platform with nuclear weapons and turned it into a uh, space arcade. As much as I'd like to make it orange, brown, and yellow, I think that might be a little bit much for the space arcade, so. Like this version of it, maybe in the future they'll upgrade it or something. <laughs> I wouldn't put that past me. But at the moment, let's just... Give it a little bit of a... Happy Space Arcade. Happy Space Arcade. Yeah, feel it. Feel the Happy Space Arcade. Disgruntled computer. Okay. I'm gonna drop the pen size down here. Shit, shit. 
shading in here, a little more texture. Fun fact, the Intergalactic Space Arcade is powered by um, a fusion-powered margarita mixer that spins and using the forces of inertia and tequila, it generates energy. Now, just in case you're wondering, I have done zero scientific research on that. But I'm fairly confident it would work, depending on the quality of the margarita, of course. Which is why it was very important for Lord Carnage 1.5 that they fly to a planet with a margarita atmosphere and steal it all. <laughs> Never-ending margarita. Can't go wrong. All right, here we go. That's the direction you enter the door. You, you go through that thing. Okay. Very good. You know what would hold this thing together better? Rivets. There we go. Okay. Looking good so far. So, if you're interested, by the way, I'm printing 50 of these CGR Supreme Zeros on ClassicGameRoom.com. Physical sets, they can't be deleted by a horrible monopoly on the internet. I mean, you could accidentally delete it, but, you know, that's your problem. Let's see here, we're going to put the, the lights in there. A little bit. Yeah, that's kind of neat, like, it's floating in space, right? And it's powered by margaritas. So we figured it's, it's going to look kind of cool, right? I have little effects there off, bouncing off the windows, I think. Go to the uh, curves. I'm just gonna put a little. There we go. Okay. Looking sharp, Space Arcade. Uh, let's see. We'll put a little bit of texture on here. There we go. For like a space vortex in the background here using a neon pen. Actually looks alright. It's good for phase one, it's a little different, not quite the normal color palette that I would use. And that's actually why I like it for this one. Stands out, it's a limited edition. Only 50 of these are going to be printed and uh, you may have noticed in the last uh, one of the last time lapse drawing videos I did, I used this exact same pen stroke on a white outline around Ethel the Cyborg Ninja. And I, I loved it. It's, I think it gives like a nice hand drawn aesthetic to something, which is clearly digital. But you can do these nice uh, strokes. You do a stroke on a drawing in Photoshop, and it gives a great like line around it. And I use that effect all the time. But for something like this. It's not quite, this This is not nearly as precise as it looks. I like that. All right. And then uh, this goes over to Photoshop, and then on top, in Photoshop I do the, the titling and all that stuff. But you'll see a lot more uh, color stuff from me this year. I, I actually just bought a stack of, of brushes and stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, acrylic and oil painting work. And um, additionally, a bunch of other packaging designs for uh, CGR Supremes 7 through 12 in the Classic Game Room 20th Anniversary set. So, Oh, and CGR 2085's collection as well. Alright, that is all for now. So thanks for watching. And this is on the website, CGR Supreme Volume 0. When they're gone, they're gone. <laughs>